You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have a familiar face to television in Brockton, S Susan Castro. But Susan, you're not here to make a political announcement. I'm not, not today. You're here in a hat you've worn for a long time. That's right. The Charity Guild. Very of comfortable Brockton. hat. That's okay? right. You've been on the board. I listened to your little promo on the radio. As a matter of fact, that's how I invited you here. Mm -hmm. You have a great event coming up real soon. We do. Um, I am the chairman of a fundraising event for, it's a wonderful spring ladies night out to benefit the guild and it's called The Little Black Dress. And what it is is we've invited this wonderful entertainer from Salem, Massachusetts. His name is Bill Graham. And he is going to transform a little black dress on a mannequin into eight different looks with accessories and jewelry and all that. And at the same time, he tells stories, interesting stories mm -hmm. from his life. And he also creates eight different floral arrangements which complement the eight different little black dress looks. And at the end of the evening, we will raffle off those floral arrangements. So there'll be something for everyone. Now, the Charity Guild, as we know, is a food pantry, yes. is a thrift store. We're a charity that runs a food pantry and a thrift store at right. 501 Main Street. Mm -hmm. Long ago, this was the um, headquarters of Savis' Hallmark Store. Right. We bought the building from them quite a while ago. And um, we run a thrift store six days a week from 10 o'clock until 3 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And we run a food pantry three days a week, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays from 10 o'clock until the food runs out. And it's 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 colorful. It has all sorts of murals it on is. the front of the building. It's it it's, it's nice. It's it's uh, everybody. I remember Savis's very well, mm -hmm. and we still have it in a different location. That's so right. it worked out really well. Mm -hmm. um, back to the event, though. The event is Thursday, April sixth. Yes, it so is. So it's right around the corner. Begin it's a week from today, and okay. it starts at six thirty p.m. Mm -hmm. And it's being held at Thorny Lee Golf Club, one fifty Tory Street in Brockton. And uh, we will, we're going to be serving delicious little bites and desserts. We'll have a cash bar, coffee and tea. Um, we think that the program will probably start around 7, 7.15 mm -hmm. to give our, our uh, guests time to get there. Quite a few people are coming out of Boston. And it all goes to charity. It all goes to the Charity Guild, yes, okay. for our, our support and benefit. That's um, right. Tony Lee's a nice place to go oh, to. Oh, it's lovely. But it, it, it's, it, it's, the, it's a first for the Charity Guild, correct? To, uh, hosting this event, yes, it is. Okay. In past years, because we've been around since 1971, mm -hmm. in past years we've run fashion shows at this time of year. Um, we're always running food drives. Every year we have a gala in the fall. We we, most years we call it our Harvest Gala, mm -hmm. and that's our big fundraiser to raise the bulk of our funds that we don't obtain from grants and gifts. Now, would you say that from the time you've been on in 1971, it was founded in 1971. Yes, it was. you've been on. Since 1999. There you go. Um, the need is even greater now than it was before. Yes. Out in the community. Yes. Okay. Well, it, the population's a bit larger, and the, the demographics of the population have changed. Mm -hmm. um, in our last fiscal year, we served 5,600 households, and that was about 15,000 people. Mm -hmm. And of that 15,000 people, one-third were children, and more than one-quarter were seniors, 65 or older. And we've seen a great increase in the number of seniors that we're serving over the last 10 years. It reflects the economy regionally, and it reflects the times. Well, you think about the seniors, and sometimes you hear, take your, get your prescription medication or eat. That's right. In a or, lot of cases. And at this time of year, it's also buy fuel oil mm -hmm. or eat. Right. But that's exactly right. It's a tremendous juggle. Um, you know, Brockton has a lot of senior high-rises. The, the Housing Authority has uh, affordable places for, for people to live, mm -hmm. but it, it, it's a struggle. It is people a struggle. Are a pay, some people are a paycheck away from a shelter. Well, they say two paychecks away from being destitute. That's right. Mm -hmm. um, I love volunteering there. I don't go regularly, but I continue to be on the board. I go in when I can. They get all of my discarded clothes and household goods. Mm -hmm. um, and we do a great business in those. Last year, um, because not only do we sell these items at dirt cheap prices, but we also get 
referrals from social service agencies. Mm -hmm. You know, regularly families are burned out of their homes or families just come to Brockton in a hurry and are trying to transition from a shelter to their own living space. Last year we had 244 referrals. 20% of that number were children. Mm. I mean, we're doing big business serving our, our population. And most of our clients are from Brockton and the abutting communities. We talked about children, we talked about seniors. I'm just curious, I don't know if you know this or not, being on the school committee at Southeastern and dealing with school age kids, mm -hmm. We have homeless students. Yes, you do. Okay. Mm -hmm. Brockton, up until recently, had a lot of homeless folks in the hotels. That's recently been changed. That's right. Do you feel that you have homeless college students? We, have a, we, have a, we actually have a food pantry at Massasoit now. We have both homeless college students and families as our customers. We've noticed that our homeless numbers have increased in the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. um, and also, and at this time of year, the need becomes more acute. You have to remember that these children receive one or two meals a day during the school day, five days a week. Mm -hmm. And this is a tremendous uh, break for the parents. They only have to provide a meal in the evening and on the weekends. We find uh, demand for children's foods just skyrockets over school vacations and holidays and in the summertime. Mm -hmm. So for years, while my children were in school, they're now in college, I would do a food drive, and we encourage other people to do food drives, kids' foods, macaroni and cheese, peanut butter, Pop-Tarts, mm -hmm. cereal, things that children like to eat, specifically at these times of the year when there are more of them around their homes. Now, people can't go to this great event. They can help in other ways. Of course. Phone number, website for the charity go? Okay. Our phone number is 508-583-5280. Our address is 501 Main Street. Um, we have a terrific website, www.thecharityguild.org. There's all information about how to donate to us. If someone would like to purchase a ticket to the Little Black Dress, that, that information's on there as well. Mm -hmm. There's a direct link that goes into my email, so I respond very quickly. We, I came here today because this is such a worthwhile charity, and at this time of year, we, we need to raise more funds. This is a great, great um, event. I would love to encourage all the women in Brockton and anyone watching this to come next Thursday night. Or someone to buy a ticket for their favorite woman. Exactly. Correct? Even better. Okay. Even better. And you do look for volunteers besides donations we as well? We do look for volunteers. Okay, oh, yes. Because there's things that need to be done in the food pantry, there's need, things that need to be done in, in the thrift store? Always. And we're always looking for retired men to volunteer and also students. And I should tell you, since my kids were each six, I've been sending them down there. We don't let children who are under 16 volunteer without a parent being with them. But my kids know how to pack a, a food, food pantry bag. They've tried a lot of foods because they were giving them away to mm -hmm. customers. Um, it's a very good experience. Well, keep doing what you're doing. It's okay. a great endeavor. And we urge everybody to go on Thursday, April 6th at 6.30, Thorny Lee Golf Club, Little Black Dress. Thank right? you. Yes, Thank that's you for right. being here. Thank you so much. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.